welcome to the Industry of Things World 2016. It's a great pleasure to meet one of the founding fathers of the term Industry 4.0, Professor Wolfgang Walster, CEO of, of the German Research Center of Artificial Intelligence, DFKI. Hello, Professor Walster. Hello. Thank you for joining us here at the event and giving the opening keynote speech this morning. Your topic actually goes one step further than the focus of the event. What exactly lies beyond Industry 4.0? Yes, our idea is that we will apply the next generation of Industry 4.0 also uh, machine learning methodology. We uh, think that with the breakthrough in deep learning there is a very big opportunity that we can accelerate actually the fourth industrial revolution but not by not only programming everything but really using the large of amount of data which our machines already deliver today, turn it into smart data and then use this for teaching the machines by machine learning methodology. All right, so do you think that companies are ready for what lies ahead or is there still a lot to do to enact the vision of the term that you've coined? There is still a lot to do, of course. It will last a minimum 10 years until all the factories in Europe are turned into Industry 4.0 factories. We now have about 10% uh, only. And um, in my keynote, I also highlighted that, of course, the Internet of Things, the industrial Internet, is extremely important as a prerequisite to uh, Industry 4.0, but it's only a part of the story. It's not sufficient. You have to add more components, for instance, collaborative robotics, and of course, real-time planning, uh, scheduling, and also very important is plug-and-produce methodology. We have mostly senior-level executives here at the conference all looking for ways to practically implement the Industry 4.0 within their businesses. So what would you say are currently the biggest challenges you see for the community? The biggest challenge is the what we call the retrofitting. That means we have to go from legacy factories, industry 3.0 to 4.0. And this means without disruption of the production, we have to turn these factories into the new generation factories and not you know, just tearing down the old legacy factories and building new ones, this is too expensive. So this transformation process, which is more an evolution than a revolution, is of critical importance. And how do you see the IoT market evolving in the coming years? I think it's really exploding and uh, as our Chancellor said, this is uh, the second half of a soccer game. The first uh, half uh, went completely to the United States because this was the internet for the consumer. Now we are going to the internet of uh, things and things. This is a typical domain in uh, Germany and Europe and here we at least should have uh, one to one mm -hmm. after the second half. Quite a competitive view, no? So, from a technology point of view, adoption and market value perspective, how, you think, how do you think is that going to change? I think the adoption is already uh, there. I think it's a new market, of course, also for US and Asian, uh, especially Chinese company, providing networking equipment. That's good. But this is only 20%. I think the next layer is a software layer, web of things, all the interoperability software layer, platforms for Industry 4.0. Then there's a huge market for the new generation of collaborative robots. And of course, also for small and medium enterprises offering new smart services, which now can be plugged in very easily into the new, more standardized smart factories. This is the good news that also there is a chance for startups and small and medium companies in this domain. So thank you again for your valuable insights and for sharing them with us. If um, you would have to summarize this event and its organization in one to two sentences, what would you say? 
I would say it's really one of the most exciting events in this domain. It's perfectly organized and there are top-notch uh, speakers from all over the world. Uh, I think uh, the leading industrial suppliers, but also the customers, people who run factories are here. So it's an uh, uh, excellent place, not only for doing business, but also for defining the future of the field. Thank you for answering our questions yeah. and I hope you enjoy the rest of the event. Thank you. <laughs> Good. Okay.